highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. Are there temples where you're not supposed to go? <laughs> no, it's not like that. Again, it's all individualistic. Okay. I remember uh, uh, a guru who had a disciple, a fantastic guru, one of the most Siddha gurus generally. So he had told his disciple that uh, he had drawn a geographical area. So outside of this, if you visit any temple, immediately negative things will start in your life. He tried one day in a very simple Vaishnava temple only. Not even some Kamakya and all that, there's an occult association, no. Simple Vaishnava temple. Immediately that day, he had such a huge rakas at home and all that. Uske, after that, he never steps out. Why, I don't know. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. But that Guruji was very powerful. I know he was extremely advanced and rare human being. He had guided me in some other things also. So that's why I know that he's not my guru, but what he guided me was more than most what, I have three gurus, perhaps more than what my gurus have taught me. And it was his kindness. This is like thought patterns as well as techniques. That's what I'm assuming you basically get from your gurus. Thought patterns as well as techniques. Uh, techniques, yes. Thought patterns, I don't know what you mean by thought patterns. The way to look at a particular circumstance. Yes, yes many things. I remember when uh, once I was stuck with at one stage of sadhana, I needed some clarity on the next stage. Uh, I did not know what to do. So I thought, I again, I, there's a there's a group of seniors, uh, people, uh, certain advanced people, uh, whom I uh, rever and whom I, I consult if I am confused about something. So I asked one of them and he said that, uh, do one thing, do an Anushthana for Devata. Anushthana is something we spoke about in the last podcast, specifically Anushthana. So I did an Anushthana of Bhairava. Okay. It took me about one and a half months with full mantra japa. Then there was Homa. Then there was there was a process called Tarpan. Tarpan is you uh, satisfy the deity with water. Okay. Specific, uh, not just normal water. You take water that has been mixed with, um, say, Chandan and other purified and smells good, something like that. Tarpana, Marjana, and all the things were done. After I did that, within a month's time, I came into contact with the most powerful person I've ever interacted in my life whom I never got to see by the way because he was not interested in showing himself and he ensured before his death that he burned all his photos so that even by mistake I don't keep his photo at home but how did he communicate ah there was a chain of people intermediaries between uh, me and that individual and I used to if I had a question actually it started this way that he um uh, in my initial impression was that there's some astrologer guy like that, somebody. Uh, I had a friend, uh, that friend uh, just out of curiosity had sent some horoscope to him, Okay, uh, his horoscope. And he gave some few general statements and all that. I remember that friend one day called me, he's messaged me that, you know, whenever you're free, give me a call. So I was in my sadhana and finished and all that. I said, ha, kya hua? So he said that, uh, you know, there's this guy, um, he's apparently an astrologer, local small village astrologer and all that. Um, <laughs> he uh, he gave certain readings. I wanted to listen to those readings. I said, okay, tell me. So he's telling the readings. Uh, first, second, third point. By that third point, he comes. I my mind is like, oh, this is not astrology. I have full. I have sufficient amount of astrological knowledge, and I've met enough astrologers, and I've seen enough, and I know that what is the level of depth to which you can go in astrology. Ye is astrology is possibly nahi He is using something else. Okay, I said the impossible, and then I became curious. I said that I'll send my horoscope if he's ready to read it. I want to see what he has to say. And then he sent me a reading, and I was blown out of my mind. How the hell is he saying this? He is telling me so many days ago you were sitting in your puja room and this thought crossed your mind. You did not act on it. Why did you not act on it? If you had acted, X, Y, Z would have happened. Now there's that. He is telling me dates and all that that you are in this temple at that place. This is the environment. This is the tithi. This is the sadhana you were doing. This is the result you saw in front of me and nobody in the world knows about it. I did not speak because it was a terrific experience. I spoke to nobody about it ever. Kept it silent. And I'm like stunned. It's as if he's sitting there and he saw it. Okay. 
एंड आई रिमेम्बर आई टोल्ड माई फ्रेंड दैट ये ज्योतिष के बाहर है <laughs> ये नो एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन दर्ल्ड बी एबल टू डू दिस आई नो एन एफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी वेरी गुड फेमस एंड ऑल दैट एंड आई नो कि किसका कितना औकात और कितना केपेबिलिटी है बट दिस इज नॉट एस्ट्रोलॉजी समथिंग एल्स देन आई फिगर आउट दैट ही इज अ सिद्ध इज द डेट यू इज टेलिंग हिम एस्ट्रोलॉजी इज हिज इज लाइक द कवर ही पुट्स अप दैट आई एम जस्ट एन एस्ट्रोलॉजर फॉर मोस्ट पीपल ओके एंड इज अ वेरी पिक्यूलियर लाइफ he taught me so many things about sadhana after that to he was like i used to send a question and he used to send me guidance and isko aise karna hai waise karna hai 10 15 years i've been going to kamakhya i've had many wonderful experiences then one day he sends me a message that uh, i'm sending you a specific sadhana go and do in kamakhya fir dekho kya hota hai the result was so powerful for a year the even thinking about it would make the you know the hair on my it, it was amazing out of the blue why how did he get it it's not he who is telling it it's his ishta devata who is telling him that isko bolo ki ye kare ja ke wahan pe the moment you said that you knew someone who was very evolved my first question was going to be you think he do a podcast <laughs> and <laughs> then i realized no no he was a person of very fiery temper very fiery temper why why do you say he had a peculiar life uh because i know his life he told me he was kind enough because knowing his life he told me for the simple reason that by knowing his life i got to understand many things about sadhana okay i understood more about sadhana by reading about his life which he had written and sent to me than reading 1000 books and various other things can you truly learn sadhana just by reading books na no. someone uh, has to teach you yeah you will have to and this is the guarantee of nature if whatever you have learned from the books the basics whatever it is say you are doing hanuman chalisa or simple uh, simple devi mantra okay if you are sincerely doing it and you are doing it for sufficient amount of time and there is a shift inside that has happened there will be people who will come and guide you whether they officially call themselves as guru or not wo to secondary hai but they will come and guide you you have to be open to it you have to open to it but you have to be sincere in your own practice so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips